And I'm here with David Malsby, the executive director mm -hmm. of the PTSD Foundation. And am I, am I even saying the name of the foundation correctly? PTSD Foundation of America. There yes, sir. Mm -hmm. All right. And, uh, you know, we were actually here today on behalf of uh, Service Master. We, we had done a golf tournament uh, last year. And because of situations like flooding and, you know, some call it a weather event, but there were, there were other things that happened that even made it worse than that. Uh, we became very busy during the year, and mm -hmm. we just never got a chance to come here and, and do the check presentations like we did today. So it was an honor on behalf of us for, for all the veterans and, and the things that they're having to go through and why your organization even exists. It was an honor for us to be able to present that check today. But it made me think. It was like, well, you know, because of Harvey and all the flooding and then everybody uh, energies being directed, mm -hmm. you know, towards relief, you know, in that area. Certainly. You're an organization that, that, that needs funds as well to operate. Is that correct? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, the uh, need we have in dealing with veterans and their families with co uh, coping with post-traumatic stress disorder as a result of combat, that need never goes away. So flooding or earthquakes or anything else that's going on, this need still exists. So the, uh, the need's certainly there. And for those who don't understand what Camp Hope is, uh, in a brief description, just to let, let folks know out there. Sure. Well, here at Camp Hope, we house veterans and family members who are coping with combat-related PTSD. It's a program that's about six months long, so it's very intensive in dealing with combat-related PTSD and those symptoms, how to cope with those, everything that they receive while they're here, including fooding, food, housing, clothing, uh, doctor's appointments, legal assistance is all free while they're here. And it's made possible because of things like what Service Master's done today and, and individuals across the community and across the country who understand uh, what's going on with the veteran community and wants to help out. And I'm going to go out on a limb here. I'm going to guess that there's no amount too small or no amount too large that could help the organization. It, it all adds up. And as we try to expand across the country, we're already – from coast to coast, but we got a lot of long way to go to touch every major city. Uh, the need is continually there, and uh, whether it's a dollar or whether it's a uh, hundred thousand dollars, it all adds up. Well, thank you for all you do, David, and thank you for helping the veterans here, and, and especially for all they've done for for all of us. So, Mark Lineberry, on behalf of Local Influence, and as we like to say, you've just been locally influenced. <laughs>